Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video to see if I could help anyone out. Uh, basically, I had to pull this 8.25 apart. There was a locker in it and it was popping like crazy. Um, it, it was worn down pretty bad and just wasn't working correctly. So I decided to get some open spider gears and throw them in. Anyways, in order to do that, I needed to pull the entire differential housing out. Um, I took off the caps, the, the four bolts on each side, you know, well, two bolts on each side, two there and two there, and then the whole thing obviously comes out once you have the axles pulled out. When you put it back in, you need to adjust it again so that you get the backlash set correctly. There are tons of videos on YouTube to help you figure that part out. Uh, but the thing that I had trouble with was actually in here, you'll notice there's kind of a threaded piece right in there. And what that is, is it's kind of a big, um, it's just something that you kind of screw into the differential to allow it to shift back and forth so that you can set your backlash. So let me show you what it looks like when you're looking down the axle tube. So you'll notice there's, it almost looks like a bolt opening. And obviously you need to have a long shaft that goes through the axle housing or the axle tube. And it needs to go and fit into there perfectly so that you can turn that entire assembly there to push the bearings and the carrier one way or another. Um, once they're locked in place, you use those circles around the outside to actually uh, install kind of a pin. It's kind of a retainer clip, but this is what it looks like. So basically, you know, you put it in there and it holds uh, this little pin here goes around a circle so that it doesn't spin back and forth when you're driving but anyways the reason I'm showing you this is because obviously it's hard to find a tool like that and I actually had to special order it and I was just jonesing to get this project done so I was like you know I'm gonna try to figure this out on my own and what I came up with was I actually bought whoops I ended up buying a it's about a 37 inch or I'm sorry, 37 millimeter from one side to the other. Uh, hard to tell on here. But it ended up being, it's about an inch and three eighths, I think is exactly what it is if you're going by inches. So if you look at that, we're starting at the uh, three inch mark. And it's over to about three eighths. So anyways, it was a little bigger than it needed to be. So I had to actually put it in my vise and then I tapered it. I ground it down with a cutoff wheel so that, you know, actually this side here is bigger than that side over here. So it uh, it fit in there nicely and I was able to turn it. The other thing is this is a spark plug socket and it just so happened, I thought I was going to have to weld. thought I was going to have to weld in here. It just so happened to almost fit in there. So then I threw it in the vise and I just tightened it like heck, man. And uh, sure enough, it fit in there perfectly. It didn't move or spin while I was in there in the axle. You want to be really careful about that because obviously if, in, in my case, I had this socket um, extension. I had all this put together. And if one of those had broken free, it'd be probably a really tough time getting it out of there. But And especially if you push this in too far and can't get it out. Um, it's just, you got to be careful. So definitely make sure that that is attached to that as much as it can be, the, the socket to the nut. And then make sure that you're very gentle and, and make sure you don't hurt your bearings or your seals as you're going in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it fits in there perfectly. See that? And it just, I mean, it took care of it. I'm good to go. So yeah, hopefully this helps someone out. I know this is kind of a weird tool. Took me a while to figure out what they even called it. Um, but I figured it out and it was like 50 bucks. So this whole assembly here cost me approximately $2.14. Hopefully it helps one of you guys out there. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is a Chrysler 8.25 axle. Um, and yeah. It was uh, not too bad after I got this tool made, so best of luck.